Hey, welcome back to another authentic video. Let's say you now have your account password recovery flow and user enrollment flow all up and running and have actually started to populate your authentic with users. But you notice all users have access to everything. Well, in this video, I will demonstrate how to restrict certain apps to certain users. So let's get on with the video. Okay, first we'll log in as usual and click the admin interface. Next, I'll go to the directory just to show that I do have users populated in Authentic. And now, just to demonstrate, I'll open up an incognito window and log in as some of my users just to show what I'm talking about with access to all apps. First, I'll log in as Bruce Wayne. And as you can see, all four of my apps show up just fine. Now, let me go ahead and log out. Now let me log in as Kal-El. And as you can see, Kal-El has the exact same four apps. So let me go ahead and log out of this and go back to my authentic admin dashboard. So now let's restrict these users. First, we're gonna go ahead and click our groups and click create. And for name, my first group will be A-Team and they won't be super users, or will they? Ah, huh? superheroes? Nah, nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's go ahead and click create. And I'm going to go ahead and create a B team as well. Now go to applications. And note the reason your users have all access to begin with is because by default all users access applications when no policies are bound so therefore let's go ahead and find some policies so go ahead and click your first app and click on policy group user bindings click create binding click group and select one of your groups and go ahead and choose a team and click create. Go back to your list of applications and repeat these steps for however many groups you've created. Now that you've bound all your apps, let's go ahead and go down to groups and edit these groups. So go ahead and click the edit action next to uh, the groups you just created. And under members, you want to go ahead and assign the members you want to access the apps that are associated with these groups. So for instance, I want my admin account to have access to all groups so I will go ahead and assign my admin account to both groups A team and B team. Now I want Bruce Wayne to be on A team so I'm going to go ahead and assign him to A team. And I want Cal L to be on B team. So I'll go ahead and assign Cal L to B team. We'll just leave Barry Allen out of the whole situation. So now to test, let me go ahead and log out of my admin account and log back in. And as you can see, I have access to all four applications. Let's go ahead and open up that incognito window and test our users out. First, we'll test Bruce Wayne. And as you can see, Bruce Wayne only has two applications assigned to him under the A team. So we'll go ahead and log out of here. And we'll test Cal L's account.
And as you can see here, Kalel has the other set of apps assigned to B Team. We'll go ahead and log out of this account and try Barry Allen. And as you can see, poor Barry Allen has no apps assigned to him. So let's go ahead and log out of here. And go back to the admin interface. And go back to directory and groups. Now what I demonstrated was grouping apps together into different groups and assigning users to those groups. However, if you want to be more granular, you could actually assign each app to its own group and then from there, assign users to each of those app groups. I hope this video helped anyone trying to restrict access to certain apps by their users. And if so, please click that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.